Hi there, this is Lana Fauna from Chai Skins, and I'm going to show you a short tutorial about how to tint your eyebrows to match your hair color using the Chai Skin system. Uh, we use the hair slider system instead of the skin, so this might be new for some of you, and for people who are old like me, it's old hat, so let's take a look. You need to right click on yourself and choose appearance from the bottom of the pie menu. So now that we're in appearance mode, all we have to do is go to the hair section of body parts. We're going to choose eyebrow, which will give us our eyebrow size and our eyebrow density. Those are the two that we're going to be using today. Now if you want to change the shape, those sliders are right directly underneath that. So the first thing we want to make sure is that our, our eyebrows are 100% dense. Now I've turned that all the way up, but I still can't see the color that's involved. So if you see right here, there's a little tiny line. That means that our eyebrow size is too small. So when we raise our eyebrow size, you'll see that the color appears. Now right now I have Smurf eyebrows and that's not terribly attractive. So I'm gonna go to color and I'm gonna turn the wild setting all the way back down to zero. Now that gives me the black that I'm looking for. There are four sliders in the color settings. White, which goes from black to white, rainbow, which will give you the entire spectrum of colors, which is super fun. Blonde, which will take you from black to kind of a sandy blonde. And red, which goes from black to auburn. Now, there are better ways to get a red than using this slider. So as you can see, I am now a red head, but my eyebrows aren't exactly the shade of red I'm looking for. I need something a little lighter than that. Well, what's great is I can use the blonde slider and the red slider together to create that kind of bright carroty color I'm looking for. So I'm going to take the blonde slider and I'm going to bring it up to about 45. And that gives me that red that matches almost perfectly what I'm looking for. But if I want to do a different way, I can actually turn all these sliders down and go up to the wild slider instead. Because this is kind of a carroty red, I can go to about 35, which is an orange, but that's too bright. I look like I have crazy Lilu Dallas eyebrows. So I'm going to go to eyebrow density and I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And again, I get that brown into my orange, which gives me a more natural shade. The case is very similar with brown eyebrows. All I need to do is go and turn my wildness down. Now, as you saw, my blonde hair actually takes me into the brown that I'm looking for. All I have to do is turn it up to about 64, 65, and I have that brown. It's, it's as simple as that, it really is. So now I'm blonde, and I look a bit like a bottle blonde, which is not what we're looking for. We want your natural hair color to look like it's actually blonde. So we're gonna go to the eyebrow slider and turn our density all the way back up. Go to color, and choose blonde. And with just one slider, we can set ourselves to actually be the proper color blonde, which is really fun. You can go from a beach blonde to a sandy blonde to a platinum blonde by taking your white and giving it a little more there. So now my hair is pink, but my eyebrows are blonde, and I want to make sure that my eyebrows match, no matter how ridiculous my hair color is. So I'm going to go down and turn the blonde all the way off. The rainbow color will give me the pink that I'm looking for. So I need to slide it up to about 24, 23, 24. It's a little too bright, so we can knock that back a little bit by adding a tiny bit of white. And that's almost exactly the color I'm looking for, but if you want it a little bit darker, you can lower the density. It's a real subtle difference, but I notice, and maybe you will too. So now that you're done, let's go ahead and hit save and leave appearance mode. So thanks for watching my tutorial video, and I hope that it helped you figure out how to match your eyebrows to your hair. Once you get the hang of it, it's really, really simple and you can do it on the fly without really even thinking about it. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoy my new chai skins and your new eyebrows.